Good morning, everybody. We all got up. We've had our breakfast this morning. Got our suitcases all packed up. And we're ready to go again. We are headed to... God, I can't remember the name of the city, but I know it's where the Romeo and Juliet balcony is. Uh, I'm a little tired still this morning. It's uh, typical. You know, when you travel and you want to get up early, sometimes you're a little tired. It's nice out. I don't even really need my sweater on. I just put it on just because if I need it, I need it. We're going up into the mountains later because after we see uh, the Romeo and Juliet balcony, then we will be heading into Switzerland this afternoon, up into the mountains. It's gonna get a little cooler, so I am prepared. It's been a great day yesterday in the city of Venice. Uh, it is a place that I would definitely go back to again someday. I just wanna be able to spend more time so in order to do that you don't do a tour uh, the tours are great because they have guys that tell you about all the different things of the cities and places that you go to and see but if you want to spend more time in certain cities you have to do it on your own you, you can't do these travel tours because they're on a the time schedule they want to get you uh, to the places so you can see the places and that's you, you know, it's about really it and I and you know the thing is Some of these places you don't want to spend too much time in because good lord like being in the city of Venice It's beautiful But if you could see in my photos and videos there are There were thousands of people there and our tour guide told me that it was slow yesterday that there wasn't a whole lot of people there and i'm like are you kidding me she goes hun there are literally three times the amount of people walking in the streets of venice on a busy day and i'm like there was hardly no room to really walk mainly when you were in certain areas of the city now if you're out by the water it's not as bad because most people are walking around inside the city that's where it gets worse you try to go in and out of the shops it's just it's a madhouse there's just people everywhere and just let me warn you if you ever do go to venice prices get a little expensive now when we go into switzerland it is one of the most expensive countries from what I was told uh, you try not to want to spend too much money there because you will spend a lot only because everything costs so much higher I am going to only buy maybe one or two souvenirs and then that's it I uh, don't want to spend too much there I also found out because at first I thought we had to get more money to uh, get what's called Swiss francs that's not true you can use euro money in uh, switzerland it's just that they give you swiss uh, swiss money back in change so that's fine i like to have a little swiss money to bring back home with me to show everybody i think our bus is starting to get ready to load up all the suitcases everybody's starting to gather around and uh, we're going to get ready to depart from this wonderful place. So I will catch y'all later on today. Y'all come on back. See y'all later.
Verona, Italy. A place where the Romeo and Juliet balcony is. Uh, it's not a busy day today. There's something going on today. I don't really remember our tour guide told us. But it's a nice day. There's hardly nobody here right now. So we're taking advantage of the situation. Uh, I'm walking around the square. Usually, uh, every place that we go to, there's a town square, which is where all the old buildings are, like this. It is a nice day. It is about, let's see, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not wearing my sweater today, but I think it's going to get a little bit colder when we go up to Lake Lucerne, Switzerland. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it is definitely nice. I picked the right time to come here, thanks to my friends back at home. Uh, I, I know I probably would have came here when it was extremely hot if it was my choice, but I'm glad I didn't. So uh, I'm going to continue walking around, looking at the lovely ladies that are here, and uh, look at all the shops. Everybody, this is Juliet's balcony, and also you can see the statue where everybody touches the right breast. Everybody, as you can uh, see behind me, that is the statue of Juliet in the balcony. Unfortunately. Romeo and Juliet was just a play written by Shakespeare, so what you see behind me isn't real. It's, uh, it's just a backdrop for the story, more or less, if you want to say. That's it. But uh, I took my picture with the statue. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little clip of Romeo and Juliet's balcony. I'm gonna go take a walk around and uh, see what else there is to see.
folks now if you could imagine what it would cost today to do something with the, with real marble it would be expensive now don't get me wrong I like being here it is simply amazing it is beautiful here but to me, the thing that takes away from the originality of this great city and like the others, like in uh, Belgium, Austria, all the market squares that we've been to, and I understand why they do it, but to me what ruins the originality of these great places are these modern day shops built all along all these streets and alleyways now something like this here the little outside market thing is okay because they take them up close them up at the end of the day but like I said I do understand why they put all these modern day shops here it's so that they can bring in the money to keep this city going a lot of people like it people like me would prefer to see the original way it looked back then because they build the cities, you know, outside of this one. Where you can do your modern day shopping. Buy everything that you want. I've been down a one hour way. You can find places like Gucci. Yeah, Gucci, just like where you'd find in your bigger cities. Um, places where they sell expensive shoes, everything. Uh, I just, I don't understand it, but it's what they do here. Oh, and before I go, I just want to show you what I'm talking about, how modernized stores are here in this city. I want y'all to take a look for yourself. Look at this. There's literally a Disney store right here. Walt Disney right behind me. Gucci. See what I mean? It's too modernized. They should keep it low key. Um, less expensive shots, but like I said, I know they do it for the tourists and their economy. It's what keeps this place going. It's what keeps bringing people back. But there's expensive shops all up and down all these walkways. Alright, gotta get back to the bus so we can get on up to uh, Switzerland.